Believe it or not, there's an art to tide pooling. And what better way to learn the ropes than with Montage Resort's resident tide pool expert, Stacy Edelman. Stacy, who runs the resort's Paint Box Children's Program, is taking me down to Treasure Island Beach, home to one of the best tide pools in Laguna. We have these really, really great brochures, and it's oh, basically, neat. basically, it's a whole um, treasure map of the sea life down there. So level one are the things that are easier to find down there. Okay. And then as it goes on, it's a little bit more difficult, which makes it even more um, exciting when the kids find them. Located just below the resort, the tide pools are formed when ocean water recedes during low tide. Each high and low tide occurs every six hours, and of course low tide is best for exploration. But there's so much to look for. Things that you're stepping on or walking over that you don't even realize are the, like, the wonderful uh, sea life down here. So are we going to see some of these critters here today? There's, o there's always something that you can see down on the tide pool. I always start with telling the kids is right now we are standing on sea life and they'll, they'll always tell me, no we're not, we're not stepping on anything. And one of the first things on the list to look at is actually these little baby barnacles. Oh yeah. So then they start believing that there really are some really interesting things that they'd have no idea. You can start really, 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 really kind of searching for things, like right here. It's a chitin, chitin. which is also on our list. And that's level three, so it's a little bit more difficult to find. Moving on a little bit further, one of the really great things that we can look for are the sea anemones. Okay. Which are like those kind of, they're like little sea flowers. Um. And they actually use these little seashells um, to reflect from the sun, so it's a way of keeping them cool. And then also the sea urchins, which are purple um, and spiky things. So that's one of the reasons why we tell the kids, make sure you're wearing your shoes. Um, there's actually something that I love. It's called sea lettuce. And this is actually edible. You know, just like Spider-Man can spin a web and shoot a web, these little muscles actually can make a little thread and that's what actually is keeping them all together. Um, if you were to kind of rip one out, you would see the little baby threads. That's why whenever we're on the tide pools, we want to make sure that we're really walking gently on them. You can oh, there's some fish over here. There are. There's a couple kind of fish that are in these tide pools. You'll see that there's some um, with little white dots on them. Those yeah. are actually the opali fish. Uh -huh. And then you see some other ones that are more camouflaged, and there are the sculpin fish. So I know the kids always get very excited when they see the little fishies swimming around there. Yeah. Now the opal fish, when they get old enough, they'll start swimming out and, and going into the ocean. But for the, for now, they really enjoy kind of swimming around the tide pools. They're protected in here. Definitely. As we head back to Montage, Stacy points out a few more common sea plants and animals. I leave the tide pools with a greater respect and appreciation of these coastal treasures.